Hello, good morning. Good morning, Tony Lynn. Good morning, Daphne, Alabama, Tulsa, Pauline from the UK. We love you, Pauline. Good morning, Pottsville, Vivian. Good morning, Wendy Sheffield, Sandra Bell. Good morning. Radical Thursday. Good morning, Edmonton, South Africa, Houston, Germany, Alaska. Come on, Rachel. Nebraska. Good morning, Carol. Your names pop up so fast. I cannot greet all of you personally. I wish I could. It's too fast. Prophet Jamila, good morning. South Africa, good morning. Good afternoon. Jesus. That spirit of offense is rising rapidly in the church. Please guard your hearts. Please guard your hearts. Please guard your hearts. Kelly Dugan, good morning. I've got a radical word for you. I got such a word this morning. Woke up with such a sense of supernatural peace and well-being. And then the Lord revealed something to me that's going to radically drive you to radically rejoice. You're going to have to hold your horses today or just let them run wild. Nairobi, good morning. Apostle Deborah, love you, sister. Praise God. Michelle Pear, good morning. Running with the horses. Charlene, you are a blessing to me. Love you, Charlene. You are all such a blessing. The joy of my heart at 6 a.m. Nashville, good morning. We're going to start in 30 seconds. Share this with your followers. Invite your friends. Wake them up. They don't want to miss this. This is radical. This is going to set you free. I'm telling you, today is the day to be on this broadcast. If there was ever a day, it's time to get on. It's time to hear what the Lord says. My God, we've suffered long enough. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Senior leader at the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida. If you're in South Florida, come to my church, see me, visit with us, let us love on you, cast out your devils, praise God. We love to love people. And today's devotion titled, Let Me Have My Way. 
Let me have my way. God says, let me have my way. We've had our way long enough. We've done it the wrong way. It's time to let him have his way. And here's what I heard the Lord say. If you let me have my way, you will ultimately get your way. It may not be what you are picturing in your own mind at this moment, but I assure you that if you yield to me in all your decisions, you will receive what is in the mind of Christ and in the heart of the Father, says the Spirit of God. Father puts godly desires in your heart and then fulfills those desires, and I know the pathway to the manifestation of your desires. Let me have my way, says God, and you will only ultimately get your way. Praise Jesus. I like that, but that's not what I want to share. Hold on to the end of this prayer because I've got such a radical word. I want to share it now, but I can't. I got to pray through this first. Let's pray. Matthew 6, 9 and 13, Ephesians 5 and 17, 1 Peter 3 and 17 are the scripture references for today. And the prayer starter from the devotional, have your way in my life. Have your way in my family. Have your way in my city. I subject my will to your will in all things things and ask you to show me how to walk in your will at all times. I declare that you are Lord over every area of my life. Father, we thank you this morning that you make us willing in the day of your power, God. If there's an area of our hearts that's not submitted to you, if there's an area of our will that's not bowing to your will, God, make us willing to be willing. Make us willing in the day of your power. We exalt you, Jesus. We are radically on fire for our radical God. We thank you, Lord, this morning that you woke us up. You didn't just wake us up. You've got a good plan for us. You have created uh, us in your image and you have assigned works for us to walk in from the foundation of the earth we've just got to walk in them we've just got to step out into them God give us grace oh Jesus we've got to pull back and exalt you I'm ready to run Jesus but I praise you I give you honor and glory we lift up that magnificent name of Jesus oh God you are a, you, you are a majestic God you are robed in majesty you are robed in righteousness you are robed in a cloak of zeal you are are robed in justice justice uh, is part of the foundation of your throne we thank you we praise you we sing your praises today God we say hallelujah hallelujah to the Lamb of God who took away our sin we deserve to go to hell for all of eternity but your great love with which you with which you loved us translated us out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light eternal life it belongs to us you paid the price so we exalt you we give you honor we give you praise we give you a radical praise this morning oh God let your praise be ever on our lips let us sing your praises day and night night and day let us talk of your goodness day and night night and day let us testify of your great mercy day and night night and day oh God let us not forget of the blessings of yesterday but let us hold out hope for the blessings of tomorrow even while we walk in the blessings of today your blessings oh God God, they chase us down. They overtake us. We receive them. We walk in them. We look for them. We hope for them. We expect them. We're thankful for you, God. We're thankful for you, God. You are a God who blesses, who blesses, who blesses. You celebrate us. You rejoice in us. You are grateful uh, for our obedience. You're thankful to us. In other words, uh, what I'm saying is don't take me wrong now. I heard some religious spirit freaking out. Don't take me wrong now. He appreciates appreciates our obedience he 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 rewards our obedience we must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him and because he is a God of love because he is a God of love because he is love he rejoices and he 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 rejoices in our obedience and he pours out blessings on us because of our gratitude toward him he is grateful for the opportunity to bless us praise God amen blessings the obedience of blessings the blessings of of obedience the blessings of obedience I thank you Jesus oh God help us to walk in your will because that is where the blessings flow from from your will from obeying your will from standing in your will I thank you Lord 
I thank you, Lord, from walking in your will. God, if there be anything in us that is not bending to your will, Lord, we say bend it. Bend us. Bend it. Bend us. If we are not inclined to your will, if we are not in full agreement with your will, if we are not obeying your will, if we're not understanding your will, God, give us revelation that we might step fully in to that which you've called us to do. Bend us, God. Just like Evan Roberts prayed so many years ago in Lugor, South Wales, in Mariah Chapel, bend us God bend us bend us God bend our will to your will because your will is good your will is perfect your will is acceptable bend us God bend our will to your will make us willing in the day of your power make us willing to be willing God help us give us that grace of obedience radical obedience that unlocks radical blessings God would you help us today we want your way not our way we want your way we say God we let you have your way we have full surrender we lean into you and all of your promises all of your commands because the commands of the Lord they are not burdensome they are not burdensome Jesus said take your yoke upon me because it is light he is meek he is ready to help you oh Jesus we receive your help we receive your love we receive your grace we receive your blessings we receive everything that you died to give us God we don't want to miss out on anything we don't want to uh, to fall short of the glory we don't want to fall short of the full realization of our destiny we don't want to fall short of the the the, the, the being a, rec a, a receiver of the promises of the blessings of the anointings of the graces because there's a lost and dying world out there that doesn't know you and you've blessed us to be a blessing God we are willing we are willing we are willing have your way God have your way in our finances have your way in our hearts have your way in our bodies have your way in our families have your way in our cities God would you just have your way have your way in our thought life God have your way 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 and God teach us your ways so that we can bend more readily to your ways God help us to discern between the attacks of the enemy and the crucifixion of our flesh the mortification of our flesh that dying to self that we sometimes in enter into even unknowingly we enter into these seasons of purging we enter into these seasons of fire we enter into these seasons of pruning and sometimes we don't know what's happening God we pray the crazy prayers God bend us we pray the crazy prayers God we surrender we pray the crazy prayers God make us willing and then we enter into this season of tumultuous of fire of, of storms and winds and, and and we don't know what's the devil and what's us and what's our flesh and what's you God help us to rightly divide your word rightly divides as we rightly divide your word your word rightly divides us your word divides between the soul and the spirit between the joints and the marrow between the bones and the marrow your word is a great divider help us to divide it rightly God help us to divide your word rightly God as we divide your word your word divides us as your word divides us we divide your word rightly God in other words we assimilate it we apply it we understand it we put it into use oh God let us not be deceived by being hearers of the word and not doers of it God I thank you Lord that you give us the grace to do your word give us the grace to do your word give us the grace to do your word let us not be deceived by the by the erroneous doctrines that are arising in this hour that try to tell us we don't need to repent ever we just forgive ours we just ask for forgiveness one time when we got saved and that was it God help us not to fall into the heresy help us not to fall into that great falling away because Paul Paul prophesied it he said there is coming a day there is coming a day there is coming a day that great falling away when people are offended with God because they didn't get what they wanted like Judas they were offended with God because things didn't pan out the way they thought they would oh God let us not ever be offended with your heart but help us to know your heart so thoroughly help us to know your heart so completely help us to have that radical encounter with your heart that we would understand and know your ways that we would not be offended when our way doesn't manifest but when your way comes to pass and we don't like it it's not easy on our flesh it's not easy on our soul but it's easy on our spirit we enter willfully into your will God help us to rightly divide the word of truth help us Lord not to be offended in that day a radical 
encounter. Oh, the Lord wants to pour out radical encounters. He wants to pour out radical uh, uh, portions of his spirit. He wants to do a, a radical thing in our hearts. God, we bend to you. We yield to you. Oh, Jesus, would you help us today? Would you help us today? Would you help us today? Would you help us today, God? Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Help us not to be offended. There is a, a, a radical assignment of offense. There is a radical, I, I spoke to this, I wasn't planning on saying this. It came out of my mouth in the pre-call. There is a radical assignment of, 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 of offense rising. This is not a new thing. I warned about it two years ago. I warned about it last year. Here I am warning about it again. People are splitting up over petty offenses, relationships, friendships. Uh, uh, people are leaving churches over petty offenses. The enemy is robbing, 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 stealing, killing, destroying, robbing over offense. You know what the difference is between someone who steals and someone who robs? Stealing is something people do stealthily. Listen to me now this is going to set some of you free this is uh, I wasn't planning on saying this this is the Lord listen to me now when someone steals from you they do it stealthily when someone steals from you they do it when you are not looking when someone steals from you they try to keep it a secret they don't want you to know about it they're trying to get away from a thing listen when somebody robs from you they do it to your face think about it when somebody robs a bank they go right up to the teller and they say give me the money Praise God. When someone steals, they do it unaware. They do it under the radar screen. They don't want to get caught. When somebody robs from you, they do it to your face. They do it flat out to your face. They don't care that you know it was them. Yeah, they might try to disguise themselves here and there, but they don't care that you see them. They're emboldened. They're emboldened. They're emboldened to rob from you. The enemy has come with offense to rob from you. It's in your face and you know better. Dear God, saints, you know better than to take that bait of Satan you know better than to be offended you know that love believes the best that love is not touchy that love is not fretful that love believes the best you know better you know better you know better and the enemy comes to rob your blessings to rob your destiny to rob friends from you to rob everything that God wants to put in your hand because of offense that leads to bitterness that leads to resentment that leads to unforgive come on offense it's a trap come, come on let's get set free from this trap of offense today come on it's time to expose the robber it's time to expose the right we know better come on guys come on ladies we know better than to be offended and here comes this enemy assignment breaking up relationships over misunderstandings and offense breaking up marriages over over misunderstandings and offenses breaking up churches over misunderstanding and oh we're going on a war path today against offense oh this is not what I planned to do I had no plan other than to share the word of the Lord at the end about justice but let me tell you something God is going to deal with this issue in our hearts right now offense some of you listen Lord shows me some of you have been having dreams dreams you didn't understand what they meant some of you have been having dreams you didn't understand what they meant he's trying to show you that you're offended some of you have been having dreams and they relate to your office not all of you you're going to know it if it's you you're going to know it the Lord's trying to show you in your dream that you have offense in your heart. Let it go. 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 Spit out the bait, sister. Spit out the bait, brother. Spit it out. I know. I know. I know. I know why the Lord is doing this. Because the word I'm going to share at the end is tied to this. I get it, Lord. You are so wise, Jesus. I was reading about the wisdom of Solomon today. My goodness, he was wise. They came from all over the world, kings and queens, to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Dear Lord, he was wise. Why? Because he didn't ask for riches. He didn't ask for a, a, a vengeance against his enemies. He asked for understanding, for an understanding heart. Oh, what wisdom our Lord has. Listen, offense has got to go. You must let it go. You must let it go. You must. God commands you to let it go. I'm not commanding it. God commands. We have no reason to be offended. Come on, we have no right. Come on, let's die to ourselves today. I, I, I thank you that you expose offense in our hearts right now. 
Holy Spirit, let your conviction rain down upon us. Some of you don't like this. Some of you are signing off. Why? Because you're offended that I'm calling out your offense. Lord, I bless those and I pray for those. God, please chase them down with your great love and expose that offense in their heart. Jesus, they might walk free. God, would you help them? Would you help them, God, because they're in bondage. Anybody who's in offense is in bondage. It's a bondage. It's a bondage. It's a bondage. Lord, let your conviction rain on our heads this morning because it's loving kindness that's pouring out upon us when your conviction is released God if we're walking in offense God if we're walking in bitterness God if we're walking in resentment God if there's unforgiveness in our heart God rip that off rip it off rip it off rip the mask off that nicey mask that we put on that churchy religious mask that we put on acting like everything's okay when on the inside we're miserable on the inside we're seething on the inside we're boiling over and sometimes we know it and sometimes we don't God rip the mask off rip the lid off rip it off rip off that false bandage that's covering a wound that hasn't healed rip it off 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 let us see how ugly it is God let us see how ugly it is that offense that we've harbored in our hearts God let us see how ugly it is that we might reject it it's a demon power now protecting it I command that spirit of offense to loose you in the name of Jesus I say spirit of offense loose the people of God loose Loose them in the name of the Lord. Come on, just repent for your offense and you're going to get free today. Just repent for the offense. You know if you're offended. By now, you know if you're offended. There's no condemnation here. There's no shame here. We are in a judgment-free zone. You know that. We don't judge each other. We stand together. Come on. We don't judge each other. We stand together. We don't judge each other. We stand together. There's no judgment here. Just repent. Just repent. Just repent. Just repent. Just repent. Lord, we repent of offense or Lord, we are sorry that we took the bait we feel badly about it God we have godly sorrow like Paul said in Corinthians we have godly sorrow God we have godly sorrow godly sorrow leads to a true and lasting change God help us not to be so easily offended God deliver us from rejection or fear or control or abandonment. whatever it is God that is causing us to be so easily offended give us a greater revelation of your love God that we would know and understand who you are and what you've done for us and Lord, that we will be willing to pour out that same grace and forgiveness on others. Help us not to be touchy. Help us not to be, Lord, help us not to be so, would you just help us not to be so touchy, so quick to be offended. Help us to believe the best. Help us to, to know what it's like to walk in another person's shoes and understand what motivates their hearts. Deliver us from evil, God. Deliver us from evil, God. Deliver us from evil, God. Deliver us from offense, God. Deliver us from offense, God. Help us, Lord. A radical deliverance this morning. Dear God in heaven, thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for leading us and guiding us this morning by your spirit into this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that entitlement. Wearing our hearts on our sleeves. Having a chip on our shoulder. We loose it now in Jesus' name. We let it go. 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 Strengthen our resolve. Strengthen our hearts. Help us, Lord, to stand against this wicked spirit raging against the church and the world. Radical deliverance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We receive your forgiveness, God. We receive your cleansing, God. We receive your forgiveness, God. We receive your joy. We receive your your peace now. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We let go of unrealistic expectations. We're not going to set the bar so high that nobody could ever reach it. We're not going to be petty anymore. We're going to be selfless, preferring others. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you for your supernatural peace to rest over us now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen.
I have something else to share. I'm so on fire about this word. I'm so on fire about this word. I, I, I should probably go right into it right now and just do the announcements at the end. I should probably go into this right now and just do the announcements at the end. Because this flows so well together. Yes, Lord. I'm going to go into this right now and do the announcements at the end. Praise God. Here's what I heard the Lord say. Here's what, listen, here's what I heard the Lord say. He said, justice served. I want to tell you something, what happened, and then I'm going to read you this prophetic word. You all know that a, a woman, a business owner, who signed into our School of the Spirit with a separate email address from that which she paid uh, to try to be deceptive, decided to go ahead and say that we didn't give her access to the school. And she disputed it with PayPal, and it locked down our entire PayPal account right in the middle of our fundraising campaign. Eight years, I've never had one dispute, one problem since I opened that PayPal account. They locked me down. They locked me down. You remember that? They locked me down. And they would not let it back up. Well, guess what happened? Yesterday, I called PayPal, and they, because of our prayers and us standing together, which we're going to do here in just a minute, we're standing all together. Because of our prayers and standing together, I called PayPal, I got them on the phone, and the girl said, oh, let me look at this. She goes, oh, I'm just going to unlock that for you. I'm like, really? Like, I don't have to send these 15,000 pieces of paper? She's like, oh, no, don't worry. I'm just going to unlock it for you. That was the favor of God. I woke up this morning, and I found out that the woman who lied, and if you're listening, I bless you in the name of the Lord. You need to repent because the Lord's not pleased with lying. The woman who lied, uh, they, they, uh, they, PayPal uh, investigated the case, saw that she accessed the, the school, they saw that she logged in. They saw, they saw everything, and they ruled in my favor. You know what that's called? That's called justice. Justice served. And so I was praying. I was reading about Solomon this morning. I was reading Reese Howell's book on the intercessor this morning, and I was praying. And all of a sudden, uh, just a few minutes before I got on the prayer call, the Lord said, justice served. Now, many of you know I've been through a season of character assaults by people like that who just lie. They just lie. How many know the truth always comes out? And, and heresy hunters on the Internet who like to, to say that I said Apostle Paul had a Jezebel spirit. You know I never said Apostle Paul had a Jezebel spirit. So I've been blessing my enemies. I've been walking in the light that I have. I've been refusing to get bitter about it. I've been uh, uh, asking for prayer so that I can stay strong in the midst of the battle. Last night, somebody sent me an email and said, these, 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 this season of uh, character assaults against you is over. I had a prophetic word from Sharon Stone in Europe, and she said, the enemy's assignment against you to slander you is, is falling to the ground. The, Lord, the enemy is scrambling to find a new strategy against you. And I'm like, that's great. She prophesied this. And guess what happened after she prophesied? Listen, guess, I want to share, you a prophet, share with you a prophetic principle. Guess what happened after she prophesied this? The character assaults increased. So Sharon Stone, who's extremely accurate, she prophesied this, this strategy is over and the character, it all increased. Guess what happens? The devil always comes after a prophetic word to try to make you think that the prophetic word was wrong. Now, I never thought the prophetic word was wrong. I knew that it was right. I just didn't understand. I mean, I did and I didn't. But I'm like, dear God. And I, I, I continued having dreams about these kind of things. I'm, and people kept coming to me, telling me, oh, the Lord says this assignment against you is over. The Lord says this slander against you is over. And, and every time someone would prophesy that over the last few weeks, last month or so, I would get hit with another attack. And so that's what happens. The, the, the enemy comes against that prophetic word. But I just kept standing. I just kept blessing. Yesterday in the Ignite Network group, I did a teaching on what it means to bless your enemies. I mean, it's crazy. If you understood that word bless, you'd be like, I ain't blessing them because it's radical. It means to celebrate your enemies. It means to, 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 to actually rejoice in your and to celebrate your enemies, to go around talking nice about them. I mean, I'm, I'm writing, an, I wrote an article on it this morning as well. I'm going to send it out on Elijah list, etc. But I mean, wicked, it's been wicked. 
and the Lord told me justice served this attack is over and I'm your forerunner I am standing with you those of you who are aligned with me those of you especially in the ignite network like guess what I broke through if you've been dealing if you've been weary uh, from all these assaults against your integrity these assaults against your family these assaults against you know these assaults this this slander and the accusations and the persecution listen if you're part of my ignite network I'm gonna pray for all of you right now but I'm giving you a heads up igniters if you've been going through this I have I, because you're aligned with me and I broke through you're breaking through you're coming with me because that's how it works I'm the head of the network the the anointing flows down from the head and this anointing God has put on me now for justice I'm telling you if you are in the network and you've been suffering these issues we are breaking through we are breaking through you're breaking through because I broke through amen and I'm going to pray for all of you I'm gonna read this prophetic word I'm gonna pray for all of you I'm gonna pray for all of you there is no respecter of persons I'm not re preferring my ignite members I'm just telling you because of that alignment it's a spiritual thing amen but I'm praying for all of you so still don't start attacking me saying I'm preferring the igniters or I'm gonna block you because I'm done with it praise God praise God I'm done with 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 those kind of people getting on here I know that you're not Christians I know that you are there's uh, atheists and uh, others on here that want to uh, that want to uh, disrupt people and distract people I'm just gonna block you I'm just gonna block you amen amen ignite somebody's asking what is ignite it's my it's my prophetic network ignite now dot org I don't want to take the time now to talk about it some of my igniters uh, can help you to, uh, to to get on that but it's ignite now dot org amen so we're not we're not all you know all the all the the spoilers and the demonic hackers that are on here we're blocking you I've tried to be gracious so you could hear the word of the Lord but I'm blocking you I'm blocking you um, the rest of you were agreeing together I want full agreement which is why I'm blocking them this morning I want full agreement I don't want anything to distract us from this prophetic word or this prayer so I'm blocking you I'm blocking you okay I don't see any praise God all right all right let's talk about this now justice served here's what I heard the Lord say justice served he said listen I am releasing judgments in this season righteous judgments against the enemies of your soul who have instigated and initiated injustices against you for I am a God of justice and I release vindication and vengeance in my timing my timing is now for those who have stood in faith and willfully chosen to return good for evil done to them I am serving up justice for the merciful who have prayed for their persecutors and blessed those who curse them this is a season of justice walk in it now this is not just a word for me this is a word for the body of Christ we are entering into a season of justice the enemy always pushes it a little too far and God says enough is enough just like I'm saying enough is enough on the spies and the stalkers and the spoilers and the atheists that want to come on here and distract us in the mornings this morning enough is enough that's what I'm saying I'm blocking you I'm reading this word again justice served I am releasing judgments in this season righteous judgments against the enemies of your soul now he's talking about spirits not people okay righteous judgments against the enemies of your soul who have instigated and initiated justices against you injustices against you for I am a God of justice and I I release vindication and vengeance in my timing my timing is now for those who have stood in faith and willfully chosen to return good for evil done to them I am serving up justice for the merciful who have prayed for their persecutors and bless those who curse them this is a season of justice walk in it a see come on come on come on so I want to pray I want to pray over this and some of you need to give into this word I'm telling you you need to align your finances with this word and sow into this word one thing I learned from being in Chuck Pierce's ministry is people you know you'd be preaching at his church and people just start, start coming up and putting money on the platform what are they doing they're not giving it to a man they're not exalting a man or a woman they are sowing into that word they are putting their money where their mouth is there's like this is what I believe God and I have seen injustice but I'm sowing a justice seed some of you need to do that today I'm 
going to tell you how in a minute, but some of you really need to do that today. This is a word that I am aligning my heart fully with. I have seen just one too many attacks on me. I, you know, I trust God and do good. I try to do what's right. I'm not perfect, but I press and I try to do what is right. When I die, I want it written on my gravestone. She did what was right. I try to do what is right. And the enemy continues to try to do these nasty things to me, to you, to others. We're standing. So let's pray. Father, I thank you this morning for the season of justice, radical justice. Come on, radical justice, radical justice belongs to us. Father, we bless our enemies. We're, we forgive our enemies. We forgive those who have been used as tools in the hand of the enemy. We forgive them, Lord. And we thank you for even sending uh, these, the, allowing these, you didn't send it, but you allowed these things to happen to us because your justice is sweet. Your justice is always more than whatever the enemy has robbed from us, whatever heartache he's brought from us you have maximum bl maximum blessings coming to us maximum payback maximum justice lord we bless our enemies we celebrate them in jesus name all those who used us who accused us who slandered us who maligned us who stole from us who robbed from us those who came against us and lied about us lord we bless them with the blessings of the lord god let your blessings chase them down and overtake them give them the desires of their heart we pray for those who despitefully use used us and abused us we lift them up to you and we say lord pour your spirit out upon them give them soul peace help them to see through the eyes of love encounter their hearts with a radical grace a radical love lord let them walk in miracles signs and wonders increase their ministry increase their finances increase their joy increase their peace increase the everything god but we speak maximum blessing over our enemies and we thank you for the opportunity to walk through this season in the the past season of sabotage that past season of slander that past season of persecution we thankful we're thankful we're thankful because you molded us into the image of Christ you molded us into the shape of your son you made us a little bit more like Jesus because you taught us how to keep our head high when the accusations were flying you taught us how not to take it to heart uh, what the enemy was saying you taught us to rely on you and to really press into our identity in Christ knowing who we are in him I thank you Lord Lord, I thank you Lord I thank you Lord praying John justice is coming to you brother I don't know if you can hear me but the Lord showed me very clearly justice is coming to you praying John justice is coming to all of us oh I thank you Lord for this season of justice we're gonna walk in it and when we feel tempted to curse our enemies when we feel tempted to rise up when we feel tempted Lord we're gonna lean on you and your grace in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus' name, we demand justice from our enemy. Not from you, God. We're not demanding it from you. We're demanding justice from our enemies, like the Luke 18 widow. We demand justice. And our prayer every day is going to be, Lord, justice. Justice against our enemies and mercy for our enemies. Mercy triumphs over judgment. We're going to continue to... Here's the strategy, guys. Listen to me. Here's your apostolic strategy. Continue to pray for your enemies, those who wronged you, as the Holy Spirit brings them to remembrance. You know, if you don't know who they are, just pray a blanket prayer. What is a blanket prayer? A general prayer. A general prayer. Every day. Come on. Every day. You pray for your enemies until you see this justice manifest. It's a season of justice. Show mercy. Be merciful. Be kind. Walk in love. You act like God. And God is going to pour. I'm telling you, he's doing it. I saw it this morning. I got the first fruits of it. Bam, bam, two in a row. There's one more. There's one more coming. That other, the other one that couldn't push the right button, who wanted to call me a spoiled brat and tell me that I was an atrocity before the throne and all these wicked things she said that really so much witchcraft on me Sunday morning. You know what? I read that letter, parts of it. I, I skimmed it just to see if there was any redeeming quality in it, to see if there was any kind of repentance in it. Sunday morning, I had such nasty witchcraft released against me, and my mind was mush. Prophet Vanessa checked on me. She says, what's up? I said, my mind is mush and my body is worn out. And you know what? We prayed for her. And you know what? You know what? The Lord told me to press in for a radical outpouring that morning at church. And you know what happened that morning at church, that afternoon at church? We saw miracles because I refused to allow my heart to be offended by someone slandering me because I looked up to the Lord and I prayed to him for, to bless the woman. You know what he did? He opened deaf ears. He, he fixed fused necks. Uh, he, was, he healed broken hearts. People were refreshed and restored. Radical obedience. Come on. 
If you want to sow into this, I'm challenging you today. I'm not commanding you. Don't mix up my words. I'm challenging you today. Sow a justice seed. Some of you really need to get on this. I'm telling you. They locked my PayPal account down. Wanted 5,000 pieces of paper. I'm exaggerating. There was uh, seven pieces of paper that I could not provide. Because all of our electricity is in the church name. It's not in my name. And I didn't have it. And the lady just said, it was the grace of God. She just said, oh, just let me remove that from you. No problem. Wait a second. What? I don't have to provide all these papers? Ah, don't worry about it. That kind of stuff is going to happen to you. Things that were locked up to you are going to be released to you just in an instant by the favor of God. Things the enemy shut up against you. Praise God. If you feel led to sow a seed, sow what? I'm challenging you to do it. If you're not hearing anything, go by what the... You don't have to hear from the Holy Spirit. You're moved by the Spirit. In other words, you don't have to hear a figure in your head to, have, to bear witness to something in your heart. The bearing witness is the Holy Spirit in you. Just do what you feel to do. But I'm challenging you because I know there's going to be a great harvest from this. There's going to be testimonies from this day right here. I'm telling you. It's a great word. I'm putting it out on Elijah List on my, on my Facebook page and on Charisma as soon as I can get it up. So adjust to seed. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can become a partner there. Or you can sow a one-time seed there. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. Hallelujah. You can also use PayPal. Especially works well if you're international. PayPal.me. Yes, Charlene. Sow your best seed. Seriously, this is, this is, this is, I mean, you heard me when I got on. The, I'm on fire. This is good news. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You cannot buy justice. That's not what you're doing. Don't get me wrong. You're sowing a seed, believing God for the full manifestation of everything the enemy stole. It's not just money either. It's your peace. It's your joy. It's your time. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Yeah, court cases. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Hallelujah. Also, text PRAY, or if you want to text to give, you can text PRAY, P-R-A-Y, to 754-701-2161. 754-701-2161. 1. Your seed will always bring a harvest. You need to see a harvest of justice. You want to get in on this season. It's going to happen. If the season is there for those who believe. But I found that the best, well, sometimes, sometimes the best way to demonstrate your faith well, always the best way to demonstrate your faith is to take an action. The, you, you demonstrate your faith, faith by the actions that you take. Now, your actions could be prayer. Your actions could be a good deed. But one of the best ways to break the devil's back is to sow a seed because he hates generosity. Praise God. Sow a seed. You can, do, uh, you can send that to a P.O. Box. P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33009. P.O. Box 3953. Yes, Maria. Yes. Ruled, the course of heaven ruled in my favor. Faith, act on it. Amen, Charlene. Act on it. A three, a P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33009. A justice seed. Praise God. I am heading off to, uh, to Canada today. Canada today. Canada today. Canada today. Uh, pray for the weather to stay good. For Robin, who's looking to drive eight hours to get there. Going to Canada, Saskatoon. I have a word, a strategy, and a revelation for that region of the world that I'm going to be sharing. I've got two sessions there. I will be, uh, I will be, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I will be going to Pigeon Forge next Thursday. Prophet Vanessa will be with me. Hopefully, Prophet Jamila will be there. I'll be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, I cannot remember what I'm doing after that. <laughs> I think I've got a, a few days off. Pa Pastor Austin and I are going to be. Uh, Pastor Austin and I are going to be uh, uh, filming, beginning to film the Jezebel series next week, the TV show. We're going to film the first episode as a pilot. Get all the kinks out if there be any. We're going to film that next, uh, the first one next week, and the week after that, we're going to film some more. My daughter is coming home for Thanksgiving. Pray for me. It was unexpected, and I have a busy schedule, so I'm trying to pair off whatever I can possibly pair off i've got tv i've got different uh meetings so i'm trying to cancel what i can cancel and uh and and so my daughter's coming over thanksgiving she'll be here for a whole entire week if i can wake her up that early i'll have her say hello to you i don't think she'll get up that early praise god she's a night bird but if i can get her on here to say a prayer over you i will do it 
Maybe I'll just wake her up and let, let you hear her uh, cranky morning voice and you can get a good laugh. Hallelujah. Have I ever ministered in New Orleans? No. Uh, I have actually, um, I've been in Louisiana. I was in Albany, Louisiana, but not in New Orleans. Amen. So she's coming. We will continue the prayer calls over things, uh, not on Thanksgiving Day, but we will continue the prayer calls uh, after that. Then I'll be in Dallas with Cindy Jacobs. I'll be presenting at the Apostolic Council of Prophetic Elders. I will have some of my books there, I believe. Uh, they'll have a book table for me if you're coming out to. That's a big conference. And uh, uh, School of Spiritual Warfare will be on November the 18th. I'm switching the dates because of the uh, my daughter coming on that Thanksgiving weekend, um, uh, she understands spiritual warfare, but I don't. I don't need. I need to spend time with her and not with uh, uh, in teaching. So family first. Amen. Uh, and what else? Da, 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 da. Oh, the uh, the unlocking your miracles with uh, Larry Sparks, the publisher of Destiny Image. Uh, that is going to be uh, coming up in November. Go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Lots of free stuff on there for you to get involved in. Jennifer Leclaire at eventbrite.com. Uh, Jennifer Leclaire at eventbrite.com. Uh, you can see the different things we have going on, different conferences that are coming up. Now, here's the thing I want to say about the conferences. If you are trying to uh, live stream one of our conferences, you must register at ahop.tv. I know this is a new system, and some of you are, are, are maybe confused about it, but you, you've got to register at ahop.tv. You can't register on Eventbrite unless you're coming in person. Now, it says that in big, giant, bold letters, like written all across it. If you, and we always send out a, a message. But what I found is, unfortunately, a lot of people don't actually read. Um, and I wish that they would. They've got to read it. And then they get mad because they say, well, I registered. Well, dear one, the first line says, uh, you know, the first line says this is for, this is for, or somewhere in there in big bold letters, it says this is for live registration. Okay. So this is just for people coming. We're trying to get a head count of the people that are coming in person so that we can make preparations, put out the right number of seats. You know, if we're having communion, we want to have enough communion, uh, those kind of things. So that's for in person. And then AHOP TV is for online. Amen. Pray about New Orleans. Well, I don't have an invitation to New Orleans right now, so um, I don't go places on my own unless the Lord tells me to, and the Lord's not telling me to. So if you've got a church and you want to invite me to your church, um, I will definitely pray about that. You can go to uh, send an email to invite at jenniferleclair.org. Invite at jenniferleclair.org. Amen. Yeah, people don't read and then they really, I, I don't, I, I, I'm really disturbed by the, by the, the level of maturity in, in some people in the body of Christ. I mean, they literally cuss and then they curse, like word curses. It's like, it says it right there. This is not for online, but see, they just want what they want and they want you to give it to them. So I don't know what's wrong with people, but we pray for them and uh, we pray that Christ would be formed in them. Like Paul prayed for the church. Amen. That Christ be formed in them. We've got to read. We've got to read. Amen. There's so much offense right now in the body of Christ. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but that's good. So go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. We've got the unlocking your miracles, telephone uh, training. We've got the awakening blaze vision call coming up on the 7th. Uh, the eighth is the Unlocking Your Miracles call with Larry Sparks. Uh, the Ignite, uh, it's going to be a video broadcast. Uh, Ignite Network's Prophetic Vision for 2018, November 19th. Listen, Pastor Sierra has contacted all of you in your inbox. Now, if you're not friends with her on Facebook, what happens is you'll have to go into that place in your messaging box where it has people that, uh, that it has messages where you uh it has messages where, uh, where the, you know, they, they're sort of in a different area. Donna, we're not talking about you, sweetheart. You didn't do anything wrong. We, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm talking about people actually cussing, <laughs> not people asking questions. We, we, we appreciate it. People have a question about something. They don't understand how to log into something. There, there's, there, there's no problem. There's no problem. People ask questions. It's just when you begin to cuss and accuse and say, you're trying to rob me and all this, that's like really bad. And you know, the Bible, there is something, people twist this scripture. I want to say this. People twist, you know, controlling people often twist this scripture, you know, touch not my anointed to do my prophets no harm. That can be really abusive to where you can never question someone's teaching or, but there is an actual true principle behind that. When you slander God's anointed, you know, David refused to touch King Saul. David refused to touch King Saul. 
because he was still God's anointed, even though he'd lost his kingship in the spirit, even though God was removing him or putting David in his place, David wouldn't touch him. And so, you, you know, believers, all of us, this includes me and everybody, we must be careful about slandering people and, and saying, you're trying to rob me. That's not what it said. You know, how dare you, you know, and all this stuff, dear God. I mean, I do. Is there no fear of the Lord in the body of Christ that we would slander people like this? And so you must pray for them when this happens. But I'm telling you, touch not mine anointed to do my prophets no harm. You know, I, I tremble for the, some of these people that 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 do these things and that come against Pastor Sierra that, you know, people, these people, I mean, even one to another, you don't have to be a prophet. It's called, you know, dear God, show some respect. Amen. So our Ignite Prophetic Vision is going to be broadcast. If you cannot come in person, you can watch it online. It's a free event. Uh, my mentoring and prayer intercession. If you're an Ignite member, several Ignite members reached out yesterday asking for the code for the discount. Uh, for Ignite members, you get a 15% discount. Uh, and, and apparently Denver, my developer, messed up some of the downloads. Uh, so if, if, if something wasn't working for you, uh, then it should be working now. Apparently, some people had problems, some people didn't. I think it's some some of it's a browser issue, uh, some of it is a browser issue. If something doesn't, let's let me give you a real quick IT tip. If something doesn't work on a certain browser, just change to another browser because there's thing this thing called Flash, and some browsers have disbanded Flash. You have to actually accept Flash in order for it to work. That was what the woman who lied on us said. She she was saying it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. We told her to put a Flash browser on. Uh, just just if you're using Firefox's work, try try Google Chrome. Sometimes if you're using Safari from Apple, Apple does not work with Flash. If you're using a Mac machine and you're using, I'm giving you some technology advice now. If you're using uh, Safari as your browser, you need to download Google Chrome or Firefox. It just doesn't work. That's not our fault. It's not anybody's fault. It's just, well, it's Apple's fault. Praise God. You get more authority in the spirit when you pray for your enemies. Yes, you do. It increases your authority in the spirit because you're acting like your father and you're dying to yourself. So please don't start cussing at us because your browser doesn't work. Don't, some lady continued to, to, to command and demand because she can't post in one of our groups. You cannot, you, everything goes to a moderator. We don't let people post willy-nilly because people post goofy stuff. So it goes to a moderator. And I'm, I'm sorry, but I, that is the way that we do it. So don't freak out on us for that. What I'm going to start doing is people who are in my schools who want to pitch fits, I'm just going to give you your money back and let you go get to roll and get to step in because it's, some people are just so much drama. It's not that they're sincerely asking questions. We don't mind that. It's that they're attacking. And so I don't want people like that in my school. I don't want people like that in my network. Amen. Uh, we're going to cut back on some of these attacks by just uh, – not, not, not allowing them to engage with us. And that's the wisdom of the Lord. Amen. So I pray for you. Listen, so a justice seat. Today's the day to do it. If you've been holding out, waiting, if you've not been felt feeling led, but you feel led now, don't delay, be obedient. So a justice seed. I'm telling you that word is a good word. I'm going to read it one more time. I am going to read it one more time for you. This is a, this is a good word. Yeah. Ask a millennial for help. So I know, I know some of you aren't tech savvy. I get it. And, and we're, we have a tech support guy who is absolutely thrilled to help you with whatever you need. Please just be nice about it. That's all I'm asking. Put on your nice face, smile, and be happy. So a justice seat. Here's the word of the Lord. Justice served. I am releasing judgments in this season, righteous judgments against the enemies of your soul who have instigated and initiated injustices against you. For I am a God of justice, and I release vindication and vengeance in my timing. My timing is now for those who have stood in faith and willfully chosen to return good for evil done to them. I am serving up justice for the merciful who have prayed for their persecutors and blessed those who cursed them. This is a season of justice. Walk in it. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Press into this. Pray into it. Sow into it if you're led. God is good. Listen, I've got to get ready. My flight leaves in a few hours to go to Saskatoon. I've got some packing to do. I'm working on an ebook for the Word of the Lord for 2018. I'm going to have a uh, I'm going to have a uh, free webinar on the Word of the Lord. Teach how to press into it. I'm also going to be releasing in the next uh, couple, two, three weeks a free webinar on uh, on prayer. 
Uh, so I'm trying to do as much free stuff as I can. I can't do everything free because I've got to uh, pay for the cost of the technology that it, it, it and, and the, the vendors and the people that work on my staff. But I do try to put as much free content out there as you can, as I can. You guys know that. Uh, so take advantage of the free stuff. I know some of you don't have a budget, uh, but some of you. Somebody attacked me for the mentoring program yesterday. Did you know that coaching, uh, it, you know, mentoring and coaching are the same thing? Uh, it, it's it's a coaching program, and and I used to spend uh, thousands of dollars a year on coaches, uh, and, and this is not that. This is not that. What we're doing with the prayer prayer mentoring, it's it's very it's it's a very low uh, fee to try to cover our cost. Amen. And you know you have to look at this when you when you're when you're doing these programs, when you're doing the schools, when you're doing the uh, different mentoring programs and these kind of things. You have to look at it this way. Not only are you investing in yourself. But you're actually sowing into the kingdom. So when you when you get the spiritual warfare school or whatever you're getting, you're not buying the school. You're sowing into the kingdom for 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 teaching and training. You're being coached. So think about it. Think about it. you're not buying. You know how much do you go to? How much do you pay to you know to buy all the different things? You're you're buying things in this world. You're getting no return on what you buy from the world. But when you sow into our schools, when you sow into these things, you're getting a blessing back on your sowing because it's a seed. Amen. It's a seed. It's not you're not buying the school. You're sowing into my ministry so that I can provide the school and so that I can pay the vendors and the technology. So you but you're sowing a seed into the kingdom. Amen. And you're sowing into your destiny. Praise God. Jennifer slash donate paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. I got to go. We're going to go back into worship. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. I'm going to do some updates from Canada. Follow me on Instagram. If you haven't, I put up a, uh, uh, a small video on Instagram yesterday about prophetic pirates. I'm going to be writing a whole article on that because I think it's so, so good. I'm going to write a whole article on the prophetic pirates. You know how many people uh, copy prophetic words? People copy me all the time. Now, I don't mind it in essence. Uh, God minds it, though, because the Lord says in, Je- in, Je- in uh, Jeremiah 23 and 30, I have something against the prophets who steal words from one another. It's okay to prophesy or reprophesy. Sometimes we all hear the same thing. Nobody's stealing anything. But people know if they're stealing words. People steal my words all the time. They stole payback. They stole mega. They stole radical. Now, some of those who were speaking those things, the Lord spoke them also to us, to different ones. Amen. But some people, they just don't have the wherewithal to press in and hear from God for themselves. So they pick up on your word. And you know what? I don't mind it because it doesn't belong to me. But the Lord does. Because it's a lack of integrity of people doing that. And they're not saying, oh, I heard so-and-so say this and I agree. They're just flat out acting like they heard the Lord say it when they didn't. That's what the Lord has a problem with. Praise God. Amen. I don't, I don't mind it. it. Doesn't hurt me a bit. But it hurts, it hurts the people that are doing it. So get your own word. Praise God, praise God or give credit to whom credit is due. All right, listen. We're going to go back into worship. I love you guys. We'll be back with you. Hope maybe later on I'll do something from the airport if I can if I can get if I can get a free little space there. I love to make people think I'm crazy. I was praying out. I was praying for somebody one time. I was walking down the Delta Airport. I was walking down. I'm sorry, the Atlanta Airport, and I was I was uh, miracle money on the way. Amen. I was I was praying. Somebody was bound by a, by a python spirit, and I I break you python in the name of Jesus. I curse you. I cut off your ten. I, I did all, and this guy, I walked by, people look at me like I was nuts. I break the powers of this python, this, I, I break it in the, and this one guy said, amen. Praise God, I found someone to agree with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Let's go back into worship. I got to get to writing my book and pack up to go. I love you guys. Thanks for standing with me. Keep it real. We stand together. Your presence, Lord, we welcome you to hold. 